Hello you lovely people, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten, this is where I art and craft and currently I'm finishing off my summer TN journal using this lovely kit by Karen at Creative Paper Artisan, link to the kit down below. Okay. We're on to the cover and so we're going to do the cover, we're going to sew it up, we're going to put all our ephemera back in and finish it off. I really shouldn't be allowed on YouTube. I've managed to lose the bit of video that shows me sewing in the signature. I don't know how it happened, but its I can't find it anywhere. I've even checked the recycle bins and it's not in any of the recycle bins. It's vanished. I did a five-hole pamphlet stitch um, and you, you'll have seen other people sewing in, so there's not an awful lot else to see. But you also missed me putting on the grapes on the front cover, which I printed one of the pages on rice paper and then I cut round the grapes, stuck them on the front cover and I stamped Summer 24 because this is my Summer 24 journal. Now you can see the next bit that the video didn't disappear on. Final things I want to do. First of all, oh by the way I did ink round this, this page. First of all I want to put a wee bit of a dangle on here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of and I've seen this bit of ribbon oh I've got a jar which has got not really short bits of ribbon but short bits of ribbon and that wasn't the bit of ribbon I was wanting but I'm now wondering whether to use that rather than oh I think we'll use all that and the good thing about putting it in something like this glass biscuit jar is you can do exactly what oh no do exactly what I'm doing at the moment and see what's there to dig about and see I'm still tempted by that oh I'm making a big seed of that I got these out in case the ribbon was too thick and I won't get the other ribbon out anyway so let's just use this these are beading needles and they just make threading things a touch easier because they hold the thing and take it through the hole. They break quite easily. They're also extremely sharp, so don't lose them. If you're somebody who tends to leave things just kicking about your desk, I don't advise you get these because you'll end up doing yourself a damage with them. Put some beads. On this ribbon so I'm going to put on the blue ribbon and put one of these iridescent purple beads if it'll come through the hole hmm doesn't really want to come through the hole does it let's try it this way round Yeah. I think the ribbon's too big to go through that. Okay. So that ribbon's too big. So let's see if we can put it on this white ribbon that's a bit narrower. It's not one to go through there either, is it? Let's try it further near the end where it might just manage to. Nope. Doesn't want to go through there either. Let's put it on the pink then. Let's see what else. That one's got a bigger. That one's got a bigger. So let's start with the blue again. It's a shame. I like that iridescent beads. So 
this should be easier. There we go. That's that one. And let's see. Oh, this is nice. This is a bit of amethyst. Let's put this one on. Am I going to go through? No, that one's not going to go through. And something else with a big hole in it. There's a big hole, but it's a bit chunky that way. Button. Oh, there's a smaller one. Has that got a big enough hole in it? No, not really. I don't think we want a seashell, do we? I wonder if that one's going to be big enough. Nope. Right. We've got another of the, the purple wooden one. So we'll put that other purple wooden one on. After, oh, look at that. That's got wee iridescent colours on. That one go on. This one go in? No. Right, I know exactly which one I want on here now. I'm going to put one of these silvery ones on. And then I'm going to put another I'll bring this up closer to the end. Oops. Put another of these ones on. What I want to do is to take that off. And bring this down. Let's tie a knot first. Because actually it's firm enough on a knot's going to do it. I could stick stick it in the Put some glue on and stick it in but actually I'm not going to do that and then I'm going to cut that end off and just melt it so that it doesn't free again there we go so that's that one done now, what should we put on this one? Because we have got the same problem with this one, is that everything is proving to be too big. I really want, I really want this on. Let's see. See, there is quite a bit. I'm surprised. Surprised I can't get that through there. Well, maybe not that one, but this one. I thought you could get this one through there. Let's try again. If we take it right to the end, so there's not much, too much excess. It really doesn't want to go through there at all, does it? Nope, maybe that got it. Excellent. I think we might just leave that with one of them. And let's just tie a knot in that. Bring that down. And again, trim it. And seal it so it doesn't fray. There we go. If 
one I've got this little heart that says life journey on it so we'll put that on and this one now where did I put the needle down there it's there and I think I might just leave that bit hanging but again oh, I'm going to cut it I'm going to cut it long and we'll just seal it and that's it yeah right so we've got these three let's bring them down a bit because they can come further down there we go and then to hold them in place what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a brad and I've got one of these Julie brads and if I take that through the hole where the ribbon's already gone and if we turn this over the other side now clearly these need to be shortened again so what I want to do is I'm going to move that thicker one down that way and the thinner one up this way and then I'm going to use the brad to help hold that one down and help hold these two down just to put a wee bit of glue underneath there Right, and then I'm going to use a bit of this dyed oop, muslin cloth, put that on there, and then I'm going to put this on top of it. And that'll hold that in place, it means you've still got a dangle, just gives it a wee, I just like that, I just like that. that's one of the things I wanted to do the other thing the other thing I wanted to do was to do a closure now I wouldn't necessarily have a closure because this will probably end up it won't, well it will end up going in a in a bigger cover um, with other TNs but this is the easiest way to do a closure and get a nice effect from it I'm going to use a bit of sari silk if I can find the end of a bit here we go no there's so much on this roll that finding the end is often the biggest challenge all right I'm not sure that one's really going to be long enough let's move this out the way just now and all I'm going to do is thread it through making sure not to pull too tightly thread it through there Find the centre, thread it through the bottom one as well. And then tie a knot. Now you could put a bead or something on at that point, just to kind of, but then you've got a Sizing. You can either tie it or you can take it both one way and wrap it round and tuck it in itself. It's up to you how you want to do that. But that's the easiest way to do that and if you, if you haven't got sari silk another bit of ribbon um twine some nice wool anything like that will do it and there we go that's my journal complete so let's have a wee look at it this tn journal simplified put the 
is up out the way now and we put the rice paper just to give a bit of a title bit on that front page here we have a pocket now i was going to put something in that pocket um oh it was just i was going to use that that's what i was i knew i had got something out and it was to demonstrate all the pockets the pocket there we've got the tuck here with this corner hugger and we've got a tuck the other side with this corner hugger here we've got a tuck the whole length of the page here we've got our pocket with our little writing label, label that was. We've got this flip up the wee bit of writing space and we have a tuck here. We've got a hidden paper clip that can hold stuff there and that side. We have this bit that will hold stuff but it's also writing space and it's both sides and it's held on with a magnet. This side there's also this little tuck down here. There's this belly band here that already has something stuck in it. There's this gorgeous little barrel that has its bit of cheese. So it's the same barrel on top to create a tuck, leaving one of the bit of cheeses out. We've got our wee centre pocket, in the, which means you can put things in there, put things maybe that are a bit thicker than you want to put in a tuck. We have a wee secret tuck there. A bit of decoration up there. We've got a pocket here with our three tags in that have all been backed. Well, two tags that have been backed, and then this is to prove I well, only it's not an envelope, is it? I've just used it as a bit of writing space as well. Here we've got our wee Billy Do with our fake writing all that writing space on the back of the menu this is another hidden paper clip that we can tuck things in and the other side of the hidden paper clip that we can tuck things in we've got this pocket well we've got this oh this is where i used i knew i used the cheese somewhere else um, and this is me proving that i can use the envelopes as supposed to as envelopes put in that we'll tuck that back underneath there a wee bit of decoration and um, then we've got this tuck here with the Valencian oranges and it continues over the page giving a hidden writing spot there we've got the belly band here which is like a shelf with the wine the bread and the hat on and we've got a wee tuck spot here and we've got our big final tuck spot here and that's the back page. So that's my Vineyard Picnic TN journal finished. I had great fun making this kit. It's a lovely kit. I've linked it down below. You'll find it from Creative Paper Artisan. And if you make one as well, please let me know. I'd love to see how you've interpreted it differently. Or maybe there's bits that you've thought, oh, I'm going to do that, but you've done it in another journal. I'd love to know about that if, if you have done it. If you haven't, then I don't need to know because you haven't. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. You take care until then. And remember, keep crafting. Bye for now.